Latin Primer B, Chapter 4. We're going to go keep moving and um, we're going to take a look at the vocabulary, which is, um, well, the chant here, the irregular verb up here, sum, esse, fui, futurum. Sum means I am, esse is to be, fui is I was, and futurum is I am about to be. Okay, I am to be, I was, I am about to be. And here they are, okay? Sum es est, sumus est sunt. I am, you are, he, she, it is. We are, you all are, they are. Eram meras erat, eramus erat is erant. I was, you were, he, she, it was. We were, you all were, they were. Ero eris erit, eremus erit is erant. I shall be, you will be. He, she, it will be, we shall be, you all will be, they will be. These verbs we use typically with pattern four in Shirley grammar, it's the linking verb. So what's on this side equals this side and that they match in gender and number and case. So that's where we are going to have endings with using the nominative and the predicate, the nominative ending. I'll show you an example of that, but here's our verb. Here's our vocabulary. Interrogo, interrogare, interrogawi, interrogatum. To ask or question. And you can see rogo in there. Inter is between. Our uh, interrogative quest, uh, sentence is a question. Agito, agitari, agitawi, agitatum. You can see the word agitate in there. And you think about in a washing machine, right in the middle is the agitator. It stirs things up. Impero, imperare, imperawi, imperatum. I'm underlining this, the endings. This is a trickaroony uh, verb. They have an asterisk there and they have plus dat of persons. Dat is short for dative. Whenever you use this verb, you're actually going to translate it as gives an order to. Gives an order to. Now, this to means that. Every noun that we use, because you give orders to people or for people, we're going to use the dative. You just have to memorize that. Using this imperative, this command, you've had the following word is going to be in the dative because we say two or four. We give an order two or four. Okay? That's how you translate it. So please write this in your book. All right. Administro, administrare, administrawi, administratum. It looks like administrate, but someone who administrates is supposed to help or manage. Usually they're falsifiers, but um, they're supposed to help. Nomino, nominare, nominawi, nominatum. To, it looks like name. Doesn't it look like name? To name, to mention, to call by name. All right. God in the Bible calls people by name. Yes, amen. All right, now we've got some second declension neuter nouns here. So with that, I'm going to take my second declension and I'm going to use the blue and then I'm going to take my yellow because that's what distinguishes it as, an, as a second neuter. Um, and we've got a eudicum, a eudiki, trial, legal. And that's going to be, it looks like in the uh, ecclesiastical spelling, it looks like justice or judge. Looks like judge. Investigation is another way you can, legal investigation is where you can interpret that. Okay, officium officii, duty, respect. Looks like office. Okay, so you respect the office of the president. Studium studii, zeal study. Okay, that's a neuter. Winum winni, wine, neuter. Wittium witti, fault or vice. Armentum, armenti, herd, medium, midi, middle. Okay, those are all your vocabulary words that must all be conjugated and declined. If you haven't done it, please do it. That is how you guarantee knowledge of your vocabulary. Um, you conjugate all verbs and you decline all nouns. All right, excellent. 
Now they do have a couple of examples of using um, that give an order to. There it is, gives an order to. See that? That's the way you translate that in Parat. Gives an order to. And you're going to use that following noun in the dative. That's what that means. And you know, it takes time. We got to practice those. So we'll give you some more practice. Meanwhile, in this chapter, um, uh, that's it. That's it. You got everything else. So I hope that helps. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.